hello friends today i will discuss about overtaking side distance how to find out the overtaking side distance and now so first of all we have to know what is overtaking side distance suppose two vehicles are moving at the same direction same direction so the velocity or the speed of this vehicle is more that means v uh, it is a uh, running with velocity uh, speed v and it is running with velocity vb if v greater than vb that means the speed of this vehicle is greater than this vehicle and so this vehicle so this vehicle has to be overtake so the distance required to overtake this slow moving vehicles without collision is known as overtaking side distance and it is denoted as osd oh, sorry osd overtaking side distance so now <coughs> we have to know how to find out the formula for overtaking side distance suppose suppose this is a vehicles vehicles a and this is vehicles b and another vehicles is coming from opposite direction this vehicle c uh, direction vehicle c so the velocity of this vehicle speed of this vehicles is designed as design speed that means v and the velocity of this vehicle is vb so if this vehicles want to overtake this vehicle then first of all this vehicle have to travel some distance some distance and has to come at this point at this at this positions and this vehicles will reduce its speed from v to vb v to vb that means the velocity of this vehicle will be same as the velocity of this slow moving vehicle so now this distance traveled by this vehicle is known as d1 this is d1 this distance is d1 and this vehicles will move with the velocity vb and it will maintain a distance distance s distance s from this vehicle this distance from this s distance and when this vehicle will move from this position to this position so this vehicles will also move from this position to this positions this positions and this distance is the distance b suppose this distance is d and these vehicles will move from this position to this position that means it will overtake in this way so when this vehicle will overtake in this way i mean it will come at this position it will also maintain the same distance as s s so this total distance from this to this will be d2 that means d2 equals to how much b plus 2s b plus 2s and the time during this process is capital t capital t so so b distance will be d2 equals to vb into capital t plus 2s this is and this distance traveled by the d1 was d1 equals to how much d1 equals to as this velocity of this vehicles will reduce to vb so vb into t small t and it is the capital t this t is during the time required during this process and at the same time during during t time this vehicle c will come at this positions at this position and suppose this distance is given by d3 
and uh, as this vehicle is moving with this with its design velocity v so d3 will be how much v into t so total osd will be sorry osd will be d1 plus d2 plus d3 now here one case if this is a single lane that means one way traffic so d3 will be zero in case of a of one way traffic no traffic or no vehicles will move from opposite direction in case of two way two way traffic so one vehicles will come from opposite directions so osd will be d1 plus d2 plus d3 so value of d1 is given by vb small t and d2 is given by vb capital t plus 2s and d3 is given by v plus capital t so now here s is given by 0.7 vb plus 6 it is an empirical formula it is an empirical formula and now t is given by root over 4s uh, sorry 4s by a where a is acceleration where a is acceleration t is if we find out the value of s then you easily we will find out the value of t so now we will solve a problem subjected to osd that means overtaking side distance so now here is problem the speed of overtaking and overtaken vehicles are 60 and 40 km per hour respectively on two way traffic it is two way traffic if the acceleration of overtaking vehicle is 0.99 meter per second square so calculate safe overtaking side distance mention the minimum length of overtaking zone so first of all we have to find out the overtaking side distance as it is two way traffic so we have we have to must consider d3 d3 if it is one way traffic so value of d3 will be zero so we know that the formula of overtaking side distance is d1 plus d2 plus d3 here velocity of that means the overtaking vehicle that means design speed is 60 km per hour so we have to convert it in meter per second that means we have to divide it by 3.6 that will be 16.66 meter per second similarly the velocity of the overtaken vehicle that means slow moving vehicle is vb is given by 40 km per hour and we have to convert it into meter per second that means we have to divide it by 3.6 so it is 11.11 meter per second and a is given by a is given by 0.99 meter per second square so a is given addition so d1 equals to we know that vb into t here t is 2 second is t is taken as 2 second so we know that d2 equals to vb into t plus 2s and also we know that value of s will be 0.7 vb plus 6 it is an empirical formula we have discussed previously so 0.7 vb the value of the vb was how much value of the vb was 11.11 meter so we have to put the value is here and plus 6 so it will come 13.77 meter so and we also know that the formula is for t is given by root over 4s by a so here 4 into 13.77 by 0.99 and it's it will come 7.47 second so putting this all this value in this formula d2 equals to vb plus vb into t plus 2s so we find out the value of d2 is given by 110.5 meter so now lastly we have to find out the value of d3 for a third vehicle which is coming from opposite direction so here v is nothing but the design velocity and the design velocity was here 16.66 meter per second so it, and value of t was t was how much 7.47 seconds so putting this value we find out this one so so overtaking side distance is d1 plus d2 plus d3 so now we have to mention the minimum length of overtaking zone so we know that minimum minimum 
लेंथ ऑफ ओवरटेकिंग जोन इज नथिंग बट थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ ओ एस डी ओवरटेकिंग साइड डिस्टेंस सो इट उल कम थ्री इंटू टू फिफ्टी सेवेन टू फिफ्टी सेवेन दैट मीन्स सेवेन सेवेन वन मीटर एंड डिजायरेबल लेंथ ऑफ ओवरटेकिंग जोन इज नथिंग बट 